Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new open source model, which is Open Assistant. And it's basically a new alternative to ChatGPT. It's not as prevalent as ChatGPT, but in a sense, it is more or less less restrictive and as well as less censored. And there's no limitations into which its data sources are leaked as well as shared upon so before we actually get into that guys i'm very sorry for not uploading for the last couple of days I, it's gonna be two days now and it's because it was easter holidays weekend so we had a long weekend over here so i never got a chance to actually stay at home and do as well as work on certain things so i apologize for that i hope you guys had an amazing weekend guys all you guys i really appreciate the growth and a lot of the supporting comments i really appreciate it guys so with that thought, let's get right into the video. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so guys. Turn on the notification bell. Check out some of my other videos. There's a lot of content as well as value that you will benefit from. And with that thought, let's get right to it. So what is Open Assistant? Like I said, it's a new open source alternative to ChatGPT. It's a large language model that uses artificial intelligence to generate text-based responses to user inputs. Open Assistant was actually re recently released in Q1. I'm going to share all these links down in the description below. And it basically understands tasks and interacts with third-party systems. And it retrieves information dynamically to do so. And the great thing about this, guys, is that there's a dynamic where com the community has a great share as to what actually can be developed as well as what prompts to be shared upon using the system so there's a good interaction between the community base as well as the company operating and basically the company that is operating is this company and they're truly open it's a truly open community as well as a corporation that is a non-profit and they're trying to basically create this program so that it can assist people in their day-to-day -day needs now this software was actually released uh, not a few days ago, but very recently in this quarter of 2023 and a very early preview version of it has been released right now, but already shown a lot of prompts in terms of output quality and that people are trying to work towards fixing and it's still in a, like early phases. So obviously there's going to be issues like that. Now, unlike other open language models that may re be restricted or censored, such as ChatGPT or Facebook's AR Jarvan, there's so many different language models that are not very transparent in terms of what they do with their data. Because if you think about it, all the data that is stored within their platforms or their applications is basically s sold to different corporations. It's not said that they've done it, but there's always the back hole loopholes that show their actions. And it's because most of these corporations are money centric. They're all in it. I mean, most of the times they're in it for the money by profiting on their application. Yeah, they may have a face where they show that they're trying to benefit the world by providing such applications. But at the same time, they're actually in the end working towards getting money out of it. I'm not saying ChatGPT as well as these other applications are, but that's just a general like the general sense senses as what they're trying to do now open assistant on the other hand it's a free completely free 100 percent free so there's nothing that they're trying to profit off of now basically open assistant has no limitations and users can test it out for free on hugging face and you can actually test this model out it's, it does exactly mostly everything that chat gpt does and you can basically test it out on huggingface.co i'll leave this in the description below you can also download it using google collab as well as the github link over here and basically you can run this locally so that's awesome and it doesn't require a lot of like high-tech hardware so that's a really good thing about this thing now open assistant is unique and in that it continues to collect data on its website which allows users to provide prompts and responses to rank answers so this is something that they've been actually doing and basically they have a ranking system in which shows how many people who has the best research as well as the prompt creations and they have a ranking system in which people can benefit from 
and the data collection is the vital part to improving their future models of Open Assistant and also ensures that it continuously works to improving and evolving its models. Now for the developers and researchers interested in using or modifying Open Assistant, the source code is already written on GitHub over here. So I'll leave the link down below so that you can basically try it out in the future whenever you are free. And basically the plan is to collect high quality human generated in instruction fulfilling fulfillment samples which are basically a cor like a correlation of prompts as well as responses and the goal right now they're trying to have is that they're trying to create more than 50,000 prompts so that they're able to generate better articulated responses and what they're trying to design is a crowdsource process to collect and review prompts so in this sense there's a way you can review the prompts by liking as well as disliking certain things which I can show you in a bit and they do not want to train on a flooding, toxic, spam, junk, personal information data. We will have a leaderboard system to motivate the community and show the progress as well as the most active users. Swag will be given to the top contribution computer contributors. Sorry. Now, number two, for each of the collected prompts, we will sample multiple completions. Completions of one prompt will then be shown randomly to users to rank them from the best to worst. Again, this should happen crowdsourced. Example is we need to deal with the unreliable potential malicious user. We at least we at least multiple votes by at least multiple votes by independent users have to be collected to measure the overall judgment. The gathering the gathered ranking data will be used to train a reward model. Now number three is now follows the RLHF training phase based on the prompts and reward model. Now this is the fate plan as well as the initial phase they have to collecting the prompt systems as well as the database to help them articulate better responses in artificial creation. The vision obviously is that they're not going to try to replace ChatGPT. That's not the goal that they have. It's mostly providing a new open source model that is unique in helping to collect data as well as not having a lot of restrictions or censorships. It is open based. That's the main focus and it has no limitations. Users can test out anything as well as any feature that the large language model provides for free without any hesitation as well as any restriction that might like basically stop them from doing so and that's one of the main things that they're trying to do guys they're trying to create this community based as well as a community driven project to help promote artificial intelligence in this society they want to build an assistant of the future able to not only write emails and cover letters but to do meaningful work and use APIs dynamically research information as well as a lot more in which they're trying to do as well as getting more personalized as well as extended by anyone to use and we want to do this in the best way and that is open and accessible as we can see from these other communities or applications from like Facebook it's, or Bloomberg they're all like restricted and basically closed sources in which a lot of people can't access freely this means that they're not trying, they like they're, which means we must not only build a great assistant, but also make it small and efficient enough to run on consumer hard drives. So you can see that there, it's a community driven as well as a somewhat, it's for basic people to use in which who are not like restricted as well as censored in using their platform. So I definitely, definitely recommend that you check it out. It does a lot of the same things that ChatGPT would. Basically, if you wanted to find something or write something, it'll be able to do so in the basic sense of how ChatGPT would. Obviously, at this current point, it is not able to do a lot of the prompts as well as everything that ChatGPT would, would do. But at the start, it is doing really well as well as accomplishing a lot in what it's trying to do. So I highly recommend it that you guys check this thing out. There's a lot of information on the the slide decks as to showing you what it will do. This is a little, little like demonstration as to how they'll basically collect the rewards into creating as well as demonstrating the data sets that they're trying to create. Uh, some other stuff that they're trying to do is basically fine tuning the model so that there's better resourced model sets. 
that can be used by humans as well as the users of the actual platform. And more, if you want more understanding of what the data structure is, you can definitely check out this tree over here, which shows how the prompt collections as well as the responses are articulated and the tree as well as showing the fundamental data structure in Open Assistant. So all of these slide decks showing these informations will be in the description below. I highly recommend it. You play around with this large language model. And I, if you want to install it locally, I definitely recommend that you do so because it's very easy to do so as it doesn't require a lot of hardware, uh, a lot of like large tech to install it. So definitely check it out and go support it, guys. This is free and I always provide you things that will be beneficial for you. So I hope you like this video, guys. Please subscribe. And with that thought, I'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace out.